Okay, so I started programming this. I thought, well, let me, I'll put a little of this on here. Some of you guys, this you may already know this. Some of you guys may be better at it than me, but some guys may not know. So there's a couple things that I do. I'll show you that I've learned to make drum programming. Here, I'll play a little bit of the beginning. So here's the, the riff, the, the dude. So just listening. Okay, so, um, and this is the original little scratch track that I did in the video before, so it's like so not not played well. But I want to get these drums where I want them, and then I'll play to this. And the other thing too, so so I'm just going to teach you little things that I've learned over the years, like I'm using the exact same plugin and the exact same preset for the for the rhythm and the lead, and that's why you're hearing a little bit of clashy or a little. I try to do a little panning, so listen, listen to what I'm saying here. Sorry, that. Ah! You can't even hear the high note because it's kind of within the part of the other thing, so. That's something that it wouldn't. And I just put little, these were just little ideas, markers. There's actually some stuff that gets kind of, I'm just experimenting totally on all this. So, so what I did was, um, I've got a superior drummer here. This is my basic, like, where I start usually with, like, a hard rock kit. It's, uh, it's Rock Foundry, and there's a few changes. I know where my keys are, basically, on the keyboard is right here I don't know if you can see it but there's a keyboard right here uh, and then um, yeah so this is superior I, and a lot of people use easy drummer which I think is similar um, and I, I have slate I use slate I use addictive and and those native instrument ones and I've got some of the good get good drums so whatever you got oh, I think this all applies now within the framework of superior you can program inside of it, right? Is it on the tracker? Yeah, I don't know where it is. Yeah, it's like down here. And I spent so much time trying to master programming inside of Superior. And it was, I don't know. So I'm like a creature of habit, right? So, and my buddy came over who programs and he opens up Superior and he's just doing it in Pro Tools. I'm like, oh, you don't do it inside Superior? He's like, no, man, it, it's, it's, it's too slow. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I'm good at Pro Tools, too. So I just said, okay, guess what? I'm going to disregard that, that concept. So what I did here was I'll set this to notes. And here are the notes. So it starts with just, like, a kick on the floor. You would see it right Got like a trying to feel like what would a real drummer be kind of like you know kind of getting that jam going. and also once I'm done with this I will open up superior and then you'll see here I've got my my kit which is called J JL new 2023 rock out one and two but see I've got also the same kit it's called split and it's already set up and I've already got all the tracks to split it. So once I've got it nice, then I'll have, you know, audio, kick, snare, hi-hat, tom one, tom two, all the way down the line, overs, rooms, yada, 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 hoo-hada. And then I'll print the whole thing as audio and then I can take the, the, the kick, the snare, the toms, and I can use trigger with them and add samples. And what you're hearing right now will sound like 
thunder when I'm done with it. Right now, it's just, it sounds good, but it's, you know, there's no effects. It's just raw. So here we go. Yeah, so just listen to the beginning. And all I did with this is I just did it. And then what I do is I, I would do the kick and then I'd come behind, do the hi-hat. I do the kick and snare usually kind of together. It kind of depends. I don't try anymore. I used to, like, you know, trying to be like, like a yo diggity beat maker. I was like, you know, I'm better the other way. So here it is. That hi-hat coming in is not maybe as heavy. I don't know. The open is too much. It's like there's no there's a, one step at a time. Now when I get to this next section, I will play this this kick pattern and snare together. So I would it would be running with the click here. I'll play it down here so you'll see what I mean. That's coming into the main riff, right? I'll just play it here so you can see it. I will do that and then usually what I'll do on the kick and snare is I'll quantize not always but a lot of times I'll just quantize it now let's say I'm gonna come in with these hi-hats right I'll go like this watch and get like this little swishy feel now with the hi-hats and their eighths what I will do is I will I will always quantize the front of this, like, but not that, watch. And I'll show you why. I will always quantize this th for, the, for the purposes of looping it. It'll be right on. Now what I do is I've got my hi-hats here that are not quantized, right? So I've got my kick and snare down here are quantized. That symbol is quantized. The first hi-hat is quantized, but the rest of the hi-hats are not. So what I'll do is I'll just grab all the hi-hats at this point. And now instead of quantizing them like straight, I will come to here and I just used on the other one, um, what was it? It was um, Cubase. I just used Cubase eighths and 04. What I'll do is set that. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna like lay back the eighths, right? So watch. Now, if you look here, you'll see, see the eighth is behind. So it's probably on the beat then off the beat. So now you listen. You're getting a little, let me shut off that over ringing guitar. Getting a little swagger. Disregard, well, let me shut the guitar off because the guitar is out of pocket. Now what I'll do, and this is this, and this is I learned this. I watched this dude that's like a master of this. I'll come into velocity, okay. And now what I'll do is I will slightly turn down every other one, right? So this guy here, turn it down. Oh, you gotta click it like to get it to highlight. There you go. That one, and not nothing perfect. Right, we're thinking, or no, we're thinking like, you know, we're human being. Well, we're trying to be a human being. That one's already down. There's probably easier ways to do this. And sometimes I'll actually do this on a separate track. Okay? So now, you're not only getting the hi-hat to have a little bit of like a drag swing thing within it, but now it's like... Ta, ta, ta. it's like harder hit softer hit just slightly which that's how when you hear like drums the, the, a lot because that's the problem with program drums they can sometimes sound like tsh, 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 and you're like what, what's wrong with this because a drummer's going to get like a rocking motion and now you get to hear it hopefully it's cool right okay 
So we're listening to that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to come here. I'm just going to duplicate this. Right? Now we're going to come to here and we're going to switch this up. We're just going to quantize everything perfectly. Right? And now what we're going to do too is we're going to come and take all these hi hats and just make them all the same. Okay, so now now the drums are perfectly quantized, hi hats are perfectly quantized, all volumes are the same, and listen to the difference. More static. Now you listen to what I did originally. Big difference. So now to to somebody that's like not a music person they'd be like I don't hear a difference I hear a difference so you know it, it can take me a couple of hours to program drums for these types of songs because I take my time I do a bunch of cool stuff I make a bunch of fills I do a lot of dynamic stuff I lay back this hi-hat or sometimes the ride um, and then I also switch around volumes or velocity right so again here's with all the like Velocity and groove shifts. My head, you know, you feel like this. I, I took, I, I did a mix the masters with Michael Brower, and he talks about like music makes him do one of two things front to back or side to side. And he has different compressors. He's got a pair of like, he uses a, like a pair, a multi, he does like a, a, a parallel compression with two 1176s set differently one's like 20 to 1 one's 12 to 1 one's slower release one's faster release you know so what he says when he puts things in there that are straight they start to do this and i mean you know he showed us how you know he showed it because he had 1176s at at uh whatever that studio is called and uh and it was like and he was doing this i was like and then he was talking about the front to back and echoes and compression a lot with echoes and compression yeah, you know, dude's yeah, you know, he's a he's a yo diggity with all that. But there you go. So you can hear like a little bit more of this and that. Right now the straight. So it's just straight down the middle. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Um yeah, there you go. So I'll play a little bit of where this is at. I'll build this thing out. Um, I'm not going to do it all now. I just wanted to show you some of my little tricks. Because I was going through this thing where I had this whole deal going on with these different companies. And I was like, all right. Like, my drum programming is like, it's okay at best. And I was like, how am I going to get better? And I, 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 I studied from a bunch of dudes you know, that are really good at this. So anyway, here we go. We'll just play through a little bit of this. See, <laughs> let's see. I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I don't know. Let me try this. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, just trying things. So let's just kind of hear that. See, I don't know about doing like a riding a crash. Hi, 
try that. Let's try this. Let's Apple Z out of this. We're gonna just try like more of a straight open hi hat. We get the crash to sync. Right, and now this we may may it's got like a little hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So check it out. So let's do this. Let's go to the front here and let's quantize this 100%. Now let's try doing that same Cubase 8th 04. And now if I just highlight these open, uh, open crashes, now watch when I apply it, you'll see, I don't know if it's going to, Consider that. Let me just get it from the top. Here we go. Watch him. Yeah, you see how there's a little bit. No, no. That, that didn't. Did that not work? What, so why did it do it that time? It's so strange. Things that make you go. Mm -hmm. Wondering if it's uh, get rid of this. Huh? All right, hold on. Maybe because that first one was already quantized. Maybe, maybe I just. Totally botch this up. Yeah, so there you go. Try it here. Yeah, no, it's... All right, let's do this. You know? Eh. Try the next one down. 12. No. Huh. Weird. See, it's not doing it now. Oh, because these are quarter notes. Ah! Okay. Oh, so they're not real. They're just going to quantize. All right. I got a better idea. So watch. Watch what I do. And I can man. I, I see what's going on. He sees what's going on. We'll just apply it. So now that it's straight as an arrow. But we're going to come in and do some, you know, diggity. We're going to do the Velociraptor. Right? Okay. So now we're going to come here. I see. I'm like, why is there other? I see what's going on. And this, this may be too severe because this is more straight, right? So maybe, maybe this being a little bit more kind of stiff and plotty is the thing. Kind of like, you know, sometimes like Van Halen would do this kind of stuff, and it was more like straighter. I don't know. What do I do? Here we go. feel it? You feel it? Can you feel it? You feel it? A little hair less on some of these. But yeah, you can feel it. It's giving it that little bit of motion. I'm telling you, that's... Sometimes I'll program stuff and people are like, ah, oh, I can't believe... How'd you make... You know, they think it's a drummer. Like, no, it's me! Let me get like a little funky china in there. All right, yeah, maybe that was stupid. It's, it's like choked too. Yeah, I'll, I'll tuck that in. I, that may that may suck. Okay, so now we're gonna come here. We'll just double this. Boom, down the line. Kind of a Lars Ulrich turn. come in here and you can delete out whatever it's overlaying instead of me trying to make it 
like fix it first. So let's just let's just let's just leave it like that. Let's just see what happens. Like it's like a single on that little one here and you know some people get really kind of into like hey this has to be something that a drummer can play nobody cares about drummers and drummers don't buy your records so if you make it weird just make it weird that I will you know let's let that be the way it is <laughs> yeah yeah baby yeah baby we'll just cut over the other thing and then what I'll do with a lot of this is I will start to I will change things and then maybe the second time it's through I'll I'll go to a different kind of hi-hat or I'll add different fills or I'll totally change it. So. Maybe a little hand percussion and maybe a loop like a like because it, it could be like a like a like it could be that but I'm, I'm kind of leaning away from that for right now. Right, so coming in. I mean like something like that let's do this let's just let's delete this just gonna wing it
what I can do here is go into slip mode. I can grab just a little too much there. bit but there's kind of a weird little urgency to it yeah so anyway you get the gist of it right you could do I could do like symbols too China maybe here. Yeah, 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 and it's it's a little discombobulated. So anyway, that's but that's good enough. Like now I got the feel of it. I'm going to probably add some shakers and stuff and probably do maybe a little bit of a hi-hat loop over the main thing. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But there it is. So those are some ideas, uh, things I've learned over the years. Because um, you get into a lot of situations where, you know, uh, lining up drums is a, is a thing. And, and, you know, I mean, like programming, right? People don't have budgets, they don't know a drummer, they don't want drums, they want drums a specific way. And then, you know, sometimes this is actually, I mean, I know it's sacrilege to drummers, but, you know, there you go. At probably like, <clears throat> like hand claps, foot stomps there. Hey, you know, cause oh, there's licensing. They love it, they love it when I do hey. Wadler samples in there, man. That, that'll sound thunderous. And I, I may work on opening that hi-hat a little bit. But, yeah. So, this is, uh, I guess, the second video. This is the this is the song Unknown. And uh, that was basic drum programming. And now, like, obviously, the, the guitar, rhythm guitar is just, like, heinous. Um, because, but now I'd play to it. And, and, like, at the end, I would drag with the riffs. Cause that's what I want is zonk, zonk, zonk. you know it's got that like yeah I don't like this this is too much forget that feel it da, da, da. it's got like a nice little herky jerky to it That's nice. Well, for me anyway, that's I like that. So there you go. Um, I'm gonna take the next couple of days and you know keep working on this, get some guitar sounds. Um, I got a really nice bass setup. I've got a, a great DI. I've got a Sansamp RBI, and I've got a the Axe Effects, and you know then I, that's all this here. Probably I may do this next. Yeah, I'll do bass next. I'll do bass tomorrow because I like. I like that that to rhythm thing to be so tight and killer with the click banging and then fire up. So, so I may use the sound that I used for the uh, for you know testing getting the amps to separate. I'll go back to this. Stay here. And uh, what is what am I looking at? Uh, test. You know. Somebody commented on this video from yesterday about the amp separation, that they liked it before I put the shield in front of the greenback. 
And I kind of did too. And logically, it seemed like a better idea to put the shield. But he's like, I like the way. And then I was like, yeah, all right. Weisenheimer, I thought I, I was thinking the same dang thing. And I came in this morning and I, I listened. I'm like, yeah, I like it without the shield. And uh, now it, all I did was just put a little moving blanket on the little thing between the cabinets. Just so it's not like hard surfacy. You know, it gives it a little bit less schmutz but here it is so i may i may start right here i don't know we'll see so i've got on one side here i've got pt 100 and this gonna have to be like leaner and brighter because it's definitely more like a kara takasaki and mark five on the other side it's more metal i like it i, I like it this actually could be cool and here would be like kind of the sound yeah, it's gonna be cool, man. Ow! Oh, he's excited. Hope you guys are excited. Oh, it's like you can do this for a living, man. It, it's real hard. Sometimes you can get lost, and you end up being the person that gets bumped out of your own studio. I started this to make my own record 25, 24 years ago. Yeah, here we go.